in this basic differentiation for beginners, we are going to consider sum and difference method. Let's consider this first question. However, in this video, we are going to assume that this is your first class on differentiation. And before we start solving questions, let's consider some basic concepts which are important in differential calculus. The first thing is let's consider the general rule in differentiation. Given that y is equal to a x to the power of n, then our dy dx will be equal to n multiplied by a x to the power of n minus 1. You can see from the general rule, only n at the power does the movement. The n came down and the n equally subtracted 1 at the power. This is the general rule to always remember when solving differentiation of basic functions. The next thing to always remember is the basic derivative formulas. And the next concept to always remember is the basic trigonometric identity functions. And likewise, these basic exponential and natural log functions. We are constantly going to refer to these tables in this video and in subsequent videos. Next, let's consider this first question. Considering the general formula, 3 is our A and 2 is the N. Hence, these two will come down. The 3 and X will not move. And the 2 will minus 1 at the power. It must always be minus 1 according to the general rule. And your answer is 6X to the power of 1. Which is 6X. And that is our answer. Which is option A. Next, let's consider this question. In this question, our A is 15 and our N is 4. Then, our dy dx, which is the same thing as y prime, which is the same thing as dxy, you can see only this 4 came down and this same 4 minus 1. And our answer is 60x to the power of 3, which is option D. Next, let's consider this question. Here, we are given y is equal to 2 to find dy dx. This means that we're going to differentiate y. And while we are doing that, we should respect x in this function. However, in this function, there is no x to respect. Hence, our answer is 0. Likewise, we can restructure this question like this. Because in mathematics, anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And 2 times 1 is 2. And if we consider this question like this, by respecting the general rule, we are going to get 0. Because 0 multiplies anything, we actually reduce it to 0. Hence, our answer still remains C. Next, let's consider this question. Here, we are given that y is equal to 3x to the power of 2. And here, we are going to find dy dt. But this function got no t. And because we got no t to respect in the function, our answer is 0. But the dy dx of this function is 6x. 
but in this question we ask for the t which does not exist in the function next let's consider this question 7x is the same thing as 7 to the power of 1 and here our answer is 7 which is option b that is if you differentiate 2x your answer is going to be 2 and if you differentiate minus 5x your answer will be minus 5 and if you differentiate x your answer will be 1 always remember this next let's consider this question here we're going to differentiate y but we're going to respect only x but in this function m is very close to x and they are multiplying because it's multiplying with x i'm not going to touch the m yet i'm not going to take it away from the function however because i am differentiating with respect to x only the 5 at the power of x will subtract 1 but before then the 5 we need to come down according to the general rule of differentiation our answer is b however the y the m of this function will give you 4x to the power of 5 because if you differentiate m it's going to give you 1 next let's consider this question in this question we are going to respect x in this function hence i'm going to consider only x to the power of 4 and only 4 at this top will make the move and m to the power of 2 and b to the power of 3 will not move they will remain constant here only the 4 with the x will subtract 1 and from the options our answer is a option b is dy dm and option c is dy db next let's consider this question here only the minus 7 at the power would make the movement and minus multiplied by minus is a plus and minus 7 minus 1 is minus 8 and from the options our answer is c next consider this question we are giving sign x to find dy dx here you need to do nothing but to go to the table when you differentiate sign x your answer is cos x and your answer here is a next let's consider this question here we are giving cos x to find dy dx from the table when you differentiate cos x your answer is minus sin x and from the options our answer is b next let's consider this question we are given exponential x to find dy dx from the table when you differentiate exponential x your dy dx is exponential x and here our answer is d next consider this question we are given that y is equal to 2 to the power of x and we're going to find dy dx from the table if we are given a to the power of x it is a to the power of s in a for example if we're given that y is equal to 3 to the power of x then dy dx which is y prime is 3 to the power of s in 3 because a represents any real number 
hence here we're going to have 2 to the power of x in 2 and from these options our answer is a next let's consider this question if the x at the power has a minus that means the 3 we have a minus in front then our answer is b next let's consider this question step number one rearrange this function recap in mathematics that square root of 4 is the same thing as 4 to the power of half which is the same thing as 2 hence we are going to apply it here step number two let's differentiate remember only 1 over 2 at the power will make the movement you can see the 1 over 2 at the power came down and equally subtracted 1 at the top according to the general rule and from the option our answer is c next let's consider this question step number one let's rearrange this function in step one this function is the same as this and is the same as this according to law of indices next step number two let's differentiate you can see only the minus one over two at the power will make the movement and equally subtract one at the powers minus half minus one is minus three over two and here our answer is a next consider this question step number one we are going to rearrange this function next step number two let's differentiate you can see only the minus one over four at the power made the movement by multiplying three and also subtracting one at the power and from the option our answer is c next consider this question in this function at the denominator this three is multiplying the square root of x step number one rearrange this function next step number two let's differentiate solving carefully our answer is option d next consider this question we are giving this function to find the y dx let's differentiate this and our answer is 6x next let's differentiate this and our answer is 2 next let's differentiate this and our answer is exponential x next let's differentiate sine x and our answer is cos x next let's differentiate cos x from the table our answer is minus sine x next let's differentiate natural log of x and we are going to have 1 over x and there is a minus here which we actually obtained from the table and equally for exponential for cos and for sine next let's differentiate tan theta and our answer is zero from the table tan x will actually give us sex squared x likewise tan theta will give you sex squared theta as long as this is theta and this is theta here this is theta and this is x 
we are giving tan theta to differentiate dy dx. There is no theta here, hence it does not exist, it is zero. Hence, here we have x and here it is theta, hence it is zero. And this becomes our final answer. Hence, the name, sum and difference. Next, complete the following sum and difference questions. If you solve correctly, your answer is A. Next, if you solve correctly, your answer is D. This is calculus. These are recommended video topics in differentiation and also some suggested video topics in integration, including their applications. To solve differentiation and integration problems efficiently, always remember these formulas and notations. including pre-calculus video topics. To locate all these videos, follow the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video.